Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Nico if you're new here and I live up in the mountains of Wyoming. So I was really really swamped this last week as a nurse. I'm still doing all kinds of onboarding with my new job and then doing a bunch of, sorry guys, I don't know why this happens right when I'm on the video. <laughs> Felt like my hair was in my face. Um, I, I think I'm getting used to putting my hair up at work all the time now and so then when it's down it just feels kind of weird which is just the opposite of, of before. Uh, anyway so yeah I've been super swamped. I did not get listings up every day which breaks a personal rule that I have for myself so it really feels bad. On the other hand obviously you must know my nursing paycheck is not going to hurt my feelings any so it's fine I mean financially you know it's fine but I'm not doing this business to kind of joke around you know I really do care about being consistent even if I do work full-time so um, that was a little bit disappointing I had uh, sent 17 pictures of 17 items to my virtual assistant uh, three or four days ago and he normally starts on those right away he probably would have finished those in one day but I miscommunicated and I had not kept up with him it had been about six or seven days since I had sent him any work and I didn't communicate well and I didn't realize that I really should have rushed myself last week because this week is uh, some kind of a holiday and a vacation for him like a you know like a nation nationwide holiday so uh, he will start tomorrow and um, so I didn't even have any listings going up this weekend which really hurts but that's okay uh, I did take photos today of 52 more items so he has about 69 items waiting for him um, the photos are uploading now of the last ones I took today um, that took me I want to say around four hours I did run up the stairs and I was making some taco meat to go with some taco salad and so I did a few other things um, my son called once in the middle of it and um, I was watching you know TV I, I admit it I just you know to motivate myself to work on a Sunday after I've worked all week I had to uh, bribe myself somehow so I've been listening to documentaries and things so it wasn't like just 100% focus so I think photos of 52 items in four hours is actually pretty good I'm I'm happy with that considering that um, I had a couple uh, two-piece things I had a track suit you know like a night like a vintage track suit and I had a lot of dresses and a lot of things that took a lot of measurements um, which I do in my photos so anyway, that's kind of my life. I've got two weeks before we go on vacation. Uh, so I somehow, in the 14 days, have to work my job as a nurse and then keep up as best as I possibly can with my normal listing for the next two weeks. And then in a perfect world, I would also have listings going up every day while we're gone for those two weeks. So basically, I need to do about a month of listing, which is normally about three to 400 items in two weeks rather than four weeks um, I don't know if I'll make it I'm not really afraid of the listing because I would just stay up one night all night and send those to my VA if I had to um, so that doesn't worry me as much as I'm running out of my stuff um, I do have my consignment customers jewelry um, but that takes a lot of research for me since that's not my niche so I could just stay home and just list her stuff and then take my half of that. But that isn't as good as me listing 300 clothing items. So we'll see. I'm um, not going to worry about it. I'm just going to do the best that I really can. But it'll be 12 hour days for the next 14 days. And then I'll take my two week vacation and do a lot of nothing. So and that's fine with me. That's the way it goes. Um, so I have 10 items today. Uh, we had a good day. Uh, I live up in the mountains, most of you know, so I don't want to repeat the whole thing every single time. I ship on Saturday mornings for one hour. That's the only uh, time the post office is open. So on Saturday morning yesterday, I shipped at about 9, 9.30. I took my mail there. I had very few orders. I think I only had two or three. Uh, it was sad. From Friday afternoon till Saturday, I did not sell that much. Uh, and so that's why I didn't make a video. It was just a couple of things. And then uh, now, though, it's picked up. So yesterday and today, uh, between the rest of yesterday and today, we sold only 10 items, but it's $308.80. So that's about a $30 
sale price. Um, so I'm okay with that for now. So let's go ahead and see what's sold. Uh, this is uh, this is a good clearance item. I'm glad it's gone. I uh, do pick up some in and out Burger um, t-shirts, and I think that they can be a pickup at about a $15 sell, you know, sale price. So, you know, now that I'm trying to get over $24 plus shipping, so $30, I don't pick them up near as much. And this one I would not pick up again. It's really cute, in and out Burger. It's from 2001, uh, but it had a stain. When I ended up getting it home from the bins, it had a stain somewhere that I couldn't get out. And plus it's a size small. So. This is something that I had before that I would not pick up again. Uh, but anyway, so I sent an offer for 99 cents plus shipping, so 784. So that is definitely clearance, um, but I'm glad. I'm happy to ship this out of here. I haven't had that like through COVID, so that's not why I picked it up. Uh, I think I just you know, had just heard that In-N-Out Burger shirts were good. I was having some success with them, but I made the mistake of buying the small and then on top of that, the stain. So, uh, but I still should not have listed it. Like when I realized, okay, this has a stain and it won't come out, that was my mistake is is listing it. Uh, I think I thought, well, you can still get seven or eight bucks and, and that's not a horrible thing to do. It just didn't work out this time for me. Uh, so this is going out tomorrow. The date is correct. Uh, this is going to go ground advantage to California. It's going to cost $4.20 and I charged $6.75. I'm really careful what I list because as you know, if any of you have followed my channel for very long, I'm spending between five and eight hours a week editing old listings going through boxes of stuff that have not sold. And to me, that five to eight hours is something that I don't ever want to repeat. Um, first of all, I do have a decent job and I do have the chance to do overtime sometimes. So if I'm going to do a job that takes five to eight hours a week, then I'm going to make you know more money than what I am on some of this clearance stuff. So I'm really trying to be careful, really, really careful um, looking at all the comps on every single thing I list. I just wasn't that careful before and it's, you know, taking a lot of my time to fix it. So think about that. If <laughs> take, uh, take, take a lesson from me not to do that. All right. This is a good sale. I am happy with this. I bought this pair of jeans with my consignment money. I won't go into all that. You can go back and look at my videos of how I go to the bins, take those items, the lower priced items, sell them at consignment stores or get consignment credit. And then I buy things that have a lot faster sell through and all of that. So these are a pair of smoke rise jeans and I listed these on July 12th. It's now July 30th. So I had them a little over two weeks. Um, let's see, they sold via promoted listings. They did not use my coupon on these. And uh, these are a um, slim tapered in a 3632. So Smoke Rise is definitely to me a bolo. I'm trying to find the tag. There's Smoke Rise there. Let me see what you're seeing. Sometimes my webcam moves. Okay, so there is Smoke Rise. These were new with tags. I can't remember how much I paid with my consignment money, but that's free money. That's money I just use my labor to get. I want to say that these were like $12 in consignment money. So I sold them for $34.25 plus shipping, so $48.16. And these are definitely a pickup. I would pick these up again, especially for a pair of tapered, tapered jeans to sell. Tapered is not necessarily back in style yet for most people, or you know, it's not the, the hot trend, put it that way. And so I'm really happy with how fast these, uh, these turned over. These are going to Peculiar Missouri. That's what it says, Peculiar Missouri. And, oh, sorry, I'm trying to get the, the uh, sticky part did not wanna come off. Now it does. 
And so these um, these padded flat rates, as most of you know, always cost $8.30, and I charged $9.99 on the shipping. I have been like having so much trouble with uh, tape guns. I don't know why. My tape either sticks or it doesn't stick like right here where it's supposed to, and then it goes right back on the roll. So I just am, I don't know what my thing is. I do notice on this tape gun, the one with my eBay tape, that this is a lot stiffer. This, um, this piece here stays where I put it. Whereas on this one, the one with my clear tape, is that this is really loose. And so I don't think there's a way to tighten that. I, it might be that if I tighten this screw here, it doesn't feel loose. But I'm going to try to tighten these. But otherwise, I'm going to get rid of this one because it just this one just keeps going right back up on the roll. And it's just taking um, too much of my time. So yeah, so these are going to Missouri, and I'm gonna keep about a buck on the shipping. I need to get a bunch of supplies here and ordered pretty soon because supplies here to me up in Wyoming can take way over a week. I don't get anything in two days um, on Amazon like some people. Uh, before COVID, we actually could get supplies in about four days. I would choose the two-day shipping, and it still didn't come in two days, but it would come in about four. But um, since COVID, they just don't even offer where I live to get anything in two days at all, let alone, you know, one day. Um, but I will have a friend of mine helping me ship as much as she can. Um, and so I want to make sure she's got all her stuff. All right, this is a pair of hockey gloves of my son's. He found these, and uh, he's pretty good at some of his sports stuff. These are called Warrior. Um, let's see what we ended up taking. So uh, I don't know what he paid for these. I'd have to ask him. I want to say around five is what he normally would pay. Uh, we have had these since little longer than we wanted to July 7th that's actually okay um, these are went for 3250 plus shipping so $45 these are warrior bully hockey glove size 15 inches or size 15 black and white clean no rips or tears so that's what we had on these I put these in a big poly bag I do have cardboard here I don't know if it's necessary I mean these are hockey gloves so if they can't make it you know across the country in a bag then they probably aren't that good but I just felt like it had a better presentation and in case the poly bag ripped then I just threw some cardboard in there it'll add a little bit to the weight but that's okay um, these are going to Lowell Massachusetts which is far away um, from Wyoming I think it is okay let's see what this thing weighs Hopefully I charged good on the shipping. Okay. All right, so those are one pound, 9.6 ounces. So one pound, 10. And ground advantage is 9.88 and I charged um, 12.50. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my measurements in and just make sure that it'll still be the same price once I put in the measurement yep 988 okay and this is going out tomorrow I can't believe it's almost August guys Ugh, that is crazy my summer just went super fast we had such a hard winter here in Wyoming and we truly went weeks and just didn't travel as much as we normally would have so I've been making up bins trips I've been traveling to see family uh, it's just been a crazy summer like just every single few days every that's not really a word every single few days uh, almost every few days I would come home get my work done and then go on another trip and those of you who have watched my channel you saw that just trying to make up for all the things I couldn't do in the winter um, I don't think this winter will be as bad but how would you possibly how would you possibly know I mean I can't imagine two winters like that in a row but who knows? 
Um, this is a pair of Beta Brand um, 2XL pants. Now these are 2XL long, so this is my exception with Beta Brand. I don't pick up Beta Brand much anymore. I just have trouble moving them. That's just me. Um, maybe some people are still doing really good with them, but they say right here, uh, 2XL long, and I found these at the bins, and I, I ran the comps. And I thought, you know, those I, I think are worth it. So let me see how long I have these. I haven't had these very long. Um, these I've had since June 28th. So um, a month and two days. So that's good. I love that. Um, they did use my 28% off coupon and no promotion. So I took $22.63 plus shipping and then with the coupon price it came off. $26 all in. So that's not bad. Not bad. But yeah, certainly I would not pick up a Beta brand small. Um, I don't think I would pick up anything under an XL. Even, even a small tall or a medium tall, I've tried that recently and that didn't even work for me. But the 2XL tall, I think, um, you know, seems to be okay on that. This is going to Cape Coral, Florida. Um, I charged $9.99 and it's going to cost $8.30. I have a little bucket I keep all this in. I use those for Amazon shipments and packing and uh, the back of these um, labels are actually pretty good packing when you use it. This one I can show you a little bit of. Um, I have it pre-wrapped. This is a beaded dress. This is a consignment item that the gentleman, um, it was from an estate and so it was some of his wife's clothes and he just wanted me to sell them and then donate the money to the church. So this is the third item that I've sold which was really generous of him. So this money will all be going to the church. I'm not going to take any money off of that. Um, so you can kind of see it's a very pretty beaded dress. I just don't want to unwrap it because I put the beads in there purposely. This is a Papel Boutique brand. And it is an evening dress. It's pretty long. It's a size 18. Um, so I have Papel Boutique evening dress, women's size 18, blue beaded, fit and flare, and floral. So yeah, very, very pretty dress. Um, they did use the 28% off coupon, and I've had this, what, a month? Let me see. I've had this since June 24th, so uh, over a month. Uh, so I'm really glad that we got this moved. Um, this is sold for $49.51, and then they took my 28% off coupon, so $45.64. So in the end, the church will get like 35 bucks. And then I have two other things. Um, so that is really nice of him to do. I am gonna give him receipts of what sold and then I'll still write the ch uh, the check to the church, but just so he feels good that, you know, he did something good. Um, I went through everything, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to do more on eBay, but, um, you know, he did take all the rest to charity, and that made him feel good, so that was good. Um, this is going to Rochester, Minnesota. All right, so it's going out tomorrow. It's going to cost $8.30, and I charged $9.99. Yeah, I have a couple of estate things. This is, I think, the last item for this person. And then I have the jewelry estate, which is great, great fun. It's just a little bit sad to, to do when you know it's someone else's belonging. So it honestly won't hurt my feelings when these two estates are completely done just for that reason not because 
I mind doing it. I mean, my share of the jewelry estate especially is not chump change. It's actually really, really good, but it's just, um, you know, it's hard when you're looking through all that jewelry and it's just like a person's life, you know, and um, uh, that that's the hard part for me, but... I am reprinting this label. Um, I can't show you the name on the label, but it just has a little crease right here in the barcode, which I didn't think was significant at all. But um, it was happening enough, I guess, that the lady at the post office said that at least on one, you know, the crinkle, I thought I was being real careful and making sure it didn't cover the whole barcode, but they did have trouble scanning one of them. So I just want to make sure that I'm not doing that because... It doesn't matter, I'll cover the address, it doesn't matter if the crinkle is like up here, but it was down on the barcode at one point. Yeah, I'm excited about winter. I want to get um, some of these consignment things wrapped up, um, not just for me, but for them. And, uh, you know, it's better for them to go ahead and get their money. And then just get back to where I'm just doing my clothing and then the stuff my son gives me. The stuff my son gives me is so easy because he does the spreadsheet. So it'll be really nice to get back to that. But it was a blessing to have all this consignment stuff come in. Um, I don't regret doing it. It's just, um, it is a lot more paperwork. Um, not of this world, N-O-T-W. Here's this too, not of this world. This was kind of an embellished shirt. It's a pearl snap shirt, which is normally good. You can't really say necessarily that it's Western, although, um, yeah, I don't think that Western is the style, but definitely pearl snap. So I thought it was really cute. I believe I ran some comps at the time. Um, I've had this since May 30th, so June, July, so two full months, which is not bad. Um, but I have tried having sales and everything else, and I just didn't have any views, really, or not a whole lot of watchers. Maybe someone else knows what to do. This person who bought it has a lot of feedback. Let me see if they're a seller, which is great. I hope they are. Yep, looks like they're a seller. So, you know, maybe, let me look at their items. Maybe they just have this style, or it's something that they're going to wear. Um, let me see here. Men's see if there's just men's shirts uh, men's clothing um, looks like he sells some men's clothing and so you know he he has a lot of $20 items too but and actually less than that maybe he knows something or he's just buying this for himself but anyway I'm happy to get this out of here um, I finally took what did I take on this I finally took eight dollars and sixty cents plus shipping so 13 14 and uh, he did use my coupon on that I have markdown sales that just go by the date I've had things and after two or three months I do have about a 30 to 40 percent off price and so probably what this was was I had it at about 18 to 19 and that would have been a good sale but then over time it just got caught up in my sale which like I said is fine um, I would not pick up that brand again unless maybe it was a bigger size or I ran comps again and uh, this time it just didn't work out Knoxville Tennessee it's going to cost 504 and I charged 695 and I can feel the snaps kind of right here so I'm gonna put the label here I usually try to put the snaps on the inside XL item. I do still pick up some North Face. Sorry, the sticky part got all messed up there, so I'm just going to have to use tape on this. 
uh, but I've had this a long time. I've edited it several times. This is about a thousand items ago. So I listed this in March. So April, May, June, July. So four months. Not horrible, but uh, it just wasn't getting any views or anything. So I lowered the price. This is a North Face Shirt Men's XL Polo. It is the Vapor Wick. It is short sleeve. So I've had this all through at least this summer. And it just now got some attention. I just went ahead and took six bucks plus shipping, so thirteen sixty one. I have a North Face um, Thermo Ball shirt, so a Thermo Ball. You can go look it up if you don't know what it is. I didn't until recently. I knew to pick up puffer stuff, so I probably would have found it anyway. But um, I didn't specifically know that the thermal ball can be good. But I'm really careful on North Face now. Um, that's the only, well, I guess I am listing a pair of women's shorts this week that are North Face. Um, but I'm a lot more careful what I pick up in North Face now. So this weighs 10 ounces. This is going to Rayford, North Carolina. Uh, let's see, I have 12 in there. Let's do 10. It's going to cost $5.17 and I charged $6.75. I love North Face myself and, you know, certain pieces I'll still comp them out, but I'm just much more careful. I think a lot of the consignment stores love North Face, so I'm... I'm comp comping most North Face things, and this is something I would have just consigned now. That's what I would have done with it at this point. All right, this is a good sale. This is an Orvis hunting vest. Um, I always put photography, fishing, hunting, uh, in Orvis. Orvis I'm careful with too. I see Orvis literally every day when I'm sourcing out here in Wyoming. It's so common. Um, but this was an XL and uh, let's see it was a cotton nylon and you know a lot of times if these are used for fishing or hunting or whatever they're actually pretty dirty. Let's say I'm feeling something in here. Don't tell me that I almost left stuff down in there pays to take the dirty Kleenex out. I don't think it was dirty, but still. I just went like this and I felt something that I had missed in there. Thankfully, that would have not looked good for a customer. I really do check these pockets before I even photo them. All right, now I'm paranoid. I'm just checking them all. Anyway, this was a really nice clean one. And most of the time when I find these, they have little spots or something from being out on the fishing boat. Um, so even in Orvis, if this were a small or a medium, I just can't get enough money, so I would not have bought this. But since this was an extra large in really, really nice, clean condition, I picked it up. I've had it listed since June 3rd. Um, some people put Safari also. And on this one, because I did hunting, fishing, photography, outdoor, and nylon blend, I didn't have room to do um, whatever I just said, Safari or field jacket. Um, those would have also been really good keywords. But anyway, this sold, I think, fairly quickly for 30 bucks plus shipping, so $39.95. Um, I would not have paid more than 5 bucks for that. I either got it out of the bins or I bought it here in Wyoming for $5. I do not remember, honestly, on that. Even on the nice canvas ones, you know, usually those kind of oiled canvas ones, I used to, I would have paid 10 bucks for those and, and brought them home and sold them, but lately I just can't, can't seem to get enough of those. So five, about $5 is my limit um, on an Orvis piece like this. And I think I have several pair of Orvis pants right now, and those are really just sitting. Even the Trout Bum um, Orvis pants are not moving really well for me. I've kind of moved away from them. Let me know if anybody else is having, if you're having better luck than I am on those. Um, these are going to East Palatka, Florida, and it's going to cost $8.30, and I charge $9.95. 
Right now, I'm doing really, really well with Sundance. I'm still doing really well with Lauren Ralph Lauren. I'm doing well with J. Jill um, in bigger sizes, Chico's in bigger sizes, Talbot's in bigger sizes. Um, I have all kinds of Western stuff and uh, Patagonia. I have a really nice deep pile fleece that I'm getting ready to list. and um, So I have a ton of good stuff. It's not like I'm out of things to sell. But some of these things, like Orvis used to be something I almost just picked up without even looking at it. Um, but not anymore. All right, this is a backcountry dress. This I'm really happy with. I looked this up. If this were my size, this just looks so cute. Um, it's the it's the material. It's like a nylon hiking dress. I have Gorp Core and Packable in the um, title. Backcountry is. Let me make sure you're seeing this here. Backcountry is a brand. Let me see, guys. Sorry, my lighting in here is bad at 10 o'clock at night because I'm used to my window being um, half of my light. So anyway, this is uh, backcountry. I think this is 100% nylon. Just really cute. Almost like a tennis dress type thing. Only they're known for hiking. This was my first piece of this that I know of. I don't remember ever finding um, backcountry. And uh, it has zip pockets here. Really cute. I can see someone, you know, wearing this um, hiking. So uh, I've had this a while though. Let me see here. I've had this since, Ju oh no, I must have restarted it because I know I've had it longer based on the number. So this is 4,400 and I'm on the 5,700. So this is what, 1,300 items ago almost. Um, so I went ahead and it got caught up in my sale. I must have had about $40 on this at first. It did sell with promoted listings. It also sold with 28% off on my coupon. I still sold it for $24.22. And then after the coupon with the shipping, it was $24.19. And I pulled this out of the bins. So it didn't cost me much. That was the good thing. And definitely I would still pick this up again, even though it took a while. I just, I don't know if I'd do a medium in this brand. Or if I did, I think I would price it lower to start with at like 24. I don't think I would try to get 50 or whatever I had it at. Um, but this is still a pickup for me. I'm still really happy with 24 bucks on this thing. It's really lightweight, so I'm putting in seven ounces. Um, this is going to Bozeman, Montana, so that makes sense. Uh, I, it's going to cost $4.15, and I charged $6.75. Oh, I forgot to keep my computer over here going. Ah, that was part of my job. I should be live so that people can remind me. I need to keep this going so that my photos upload to my VA before I go to bed. I want to make sure they're all uploaded before I go to bed. Usually it keeps going behind the scenes, but if my laptop, laptop powers down, say that 10 times, if my laptop powers down, then this slows. So my trick for doing that is to play YouTube over here. So I'm going to do that right now. Sorry, guys. I'm going to start a YouTube video really quietly over here with the sound off so that this quits timing out. Especially if I go to bed, I do that. Like if I am getting my photos done and I have like a thousand photos and I have to go to bed um, and I want to make sure they upload in the middle of the night so my VA can do it, uh, then I play a YouTube video that's like three hours long or like a, a worship thing because those just keep going and it keeps the computer on and open. And so that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not going to bed till these are done anyway, so it's fine. Um, let me play that, and then I'll mute this since we're on here. It may play for a second, guys. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it muted. Doo -doo -doo. Okay. So that should keep it going. I've got 840 photos left to go. I took a lot of photos on some things. I took close to 24 on, I want to say, maybe 10 items. 
so that's why it's so many photos. If I'm doing like Lucky Brand shirts, which I do have some of those in there, um, I have just some plain flannels that I'm starting to list. If I'm doing things like that, I take around 12, and so it's really, really fast. Um, this says it, that this is a repeat buyer. Um, I did not catch that on anything else. I'll go look. I would refund them the shipping if I accidentally missed a second order, but I don't think so. Anyway, this person has bought from me before. Um, it says based on the last two years of data. So it's just a returning customer, which is great. Uh, this is a Ken Sporn Whippet raincoat. So I want to show this to you. These are definitely a bolo. This is one of my bins purchases that I'm proud of because everyone else, you know, just thought this was just like a raincoat. And in Wyoming, I get it, especially if you're consigning clothing, you're probably not going to get much for a raincoat in Wyoming. But I just was grabbing things and this had a weird tag. So I went ahead and looked it up. So this to me is a bolo. I was hoping for more, but it still worked out. What does this say? Ken Sporn Whippet. Um, so let's go see here. So they did not use any coupons. And let's see, I listed this on June 29th. So right at a month ago. And I started it a little bit higher, but I went ahead and took an offer. Um, I sold it for $31.99 plus shipping, so $44.99. Um, this is a size, this is one size, and this is actually vinyl. So I checked it over completely, and you know, raincoats in vinyl, you would think they have a really good chance of having holes. But just these are really cute. You can see that if you lived in Seattle especially, having this kind of a cute raincoat would be really cute. All right, so let me get a poly bag. All right, so no promotions of any kind. $44.99 all in. And let's see here. I didn't even send my newsletter out this week, so I feel like I'm doing really, really good that any of my repeat customers came back. I just did not get a lot of those basic things done um, this last week that I normally do. I did restart my promotions, and I did send some coupons to buyer groups. I did get that done, but I normally send out um, a newsletter. So this is going to Francistown, New Hampshire. I don't remember what this person would have bought from me before. Sometimes I remember people if they bought, you know, certain things. This one I just don't happen to remember. I don't know how long ago it was. I wish eBay would put that on there. I know you, what are you going to do with the information anyway, but it would be really interesting for them to say, you know, purchased three months ago from you or whatever. Okay, two pounds, 1.8 ounces, so I'm going to put 2.2. USPS Ground Advantage is 1068, and I charged 13. I'm going to go ahead and put dimensions in here, even though um, it's not going to change the price. Sometimes I just go ahead and put those in there. In case they send it back for some reason, then it's good to have dimensions. And it's going to stay at 1068. All right, so that is all I have. Um, it, I have 817 photos left to upload. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done for tonight. I'm going to go pack some stuff to get ready to go to work in the morning. I need to get up about 4 in the morning, so I have a little bit of breathing time before I go to work. Um, I'm still kind of on my own schedule this week. I can go in when I need to, but I really need to get uh, these continuing education credits done. And I'm taking my mom to the dentist on Thursday, and then Friday is uh, my birthday. For, uh, it's not my birthday, but the day before my birthday, so we're having a party. And so the only days I can work at the hospital this week are Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So I've got to get up and hit the ground running to get my 40 hours in this week. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, I still want to do my haul video. If I can get my stuff done tomorrow and be home by 6 tomorrow night, I might go ahead and start on the haul. Um, but anyway, you have a good day. Thanks for joining me. And if you don't mind, like and subscribe. Bye-bye.